Hello everyone, this is me for another Star Wars figure review and today is the second, well, this um, episode is the second vintage figure he has no more hands. Second vintage figure I'm going to be showing you guys, and I believe it is from 1998 as well as as seen in the other video. The same year is Obi-Wan Kenobi Young. So yeah, here he is. Now I believe you can get this figure in <coughs> the newest vintage series in the old Phantom Menace vintage series. So yeah that's the figure. He's got different articulations so we can talk about the articulation. You'll probably some of you probably go, oh man, come on. Why do we have to always talk about articulation? And the year it is from oh my gosh, it is from the year nineteen ninety nine. So it's not from the newest vintage series because there's one a character debut of the um one with it must be a different like articulation wise probably. So it's not fake because they wouldn't do that. I got him for one pound. The the saw originally had like the rest of the figures were one fifty. But because he was small I said, Oh come on um can you, would you let us have it for a pound? And they said, oh, okay, go for it then. So yeah, he's got different articulations in his arm. This bit does not move. It's only the top. Both arms are the same. Includes the legs and body doesn't move and the head doesn't move. He is a pretty cool figure, even though. Oh God, even though he's not got much articulation, he is a cool fig. A cool droid, but as you, if you don't know, or you may know already, but I am collecting the Star Wars astromech droids. I'm going to be making a whole big collection of them. So, if you haven't already, check out the R4S6 figure. So, in this video, we have been reviewing Pod Racer droid. From 1999. Yes, it is vintage. It is a vintage. Thanks for watching, guys. May the force be with you.